If you have just been diagnosed with deposits of cancer in the brain, the first question to ask is, do you have symptoms? If you do, probably someone's going to start you on some steroids to reduce the swelling around them and reduce those symptoms. That buys you some time to think about what the best treatment is going to be. If you know you have a specific driver oncogene in your cancer, many of these have initial therapies that are very good at getting into the brain and probably can control and shrink the deposits in the brain far quicker than some of these local therapies. If you don't have one of those driver oncogenes or you have to make a decision sooner, well, probably people will try and use a focused brain radiotherapy, SRS, rather than whole brain radiotherapy. And I think that makes sense, particularly if maybe you can tide somebody over, shrink the number of lesions, control it systemically, and then see how you go. A few years ago, deposits in the brain were very worrying. That story is evolving. There are definitely some people now who have deposits in the brain which have been successfully controlled for years, often because they have something that you can target with a drug or they've had excellent use of stereotactic radiosurgery. So as with most things in lung cancer, get the facts and try not to panic.